Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to turn on the storm alert or turn it off or adjust it on a Garmin Instinct 2X solar watch. Now there's a few different ways you can get to this, so it's kind of tricky about this watch. I'm going to show you a couple of the different ways. The easiest way to do it on this watch is to go into Garmin Connect on your cell phone, do the setting on your cell phone, and simply sync the changes over to your watch. So the first way you can get to your storm alert is if you've got the barometer installed, should be automatically down here in your ABC button. By pressing this button by default, it'll take you to your altimeter, barometer, and compass. You can actually change that if you want to. The other thing is you could have the barometer glance installed. I'm gonna go ahead and press the ABC button. It will take me to the last of those three options that I used, which was my barometer. Once you're in your barometer, if you press the GPS button, you'll see your menu for your barometer. Now that I'm in my menu, I could use the up or down button and if we go down to settings, once I'm in my barometer settings, I can go down and the third option you will see is storm alert. If I press the GPS button, it'll take me into the options for the storm alert. The storm alert is going to follow whatever your default alert settings are for the watch. That can either be a beep, vibrate, beep and vibrate, or neither of those and just an alert on your uh, watch, basically a display silent alert. When I go into it, I can change the status from off to on. By default, they give you the watch with it off. I actually like this feature. When you turn it on, you'll notice that there's some other options that open up that are not available when it's off, and that's basically the rate. What this is for is if you turn on your storm alert and you start getting invalid alerts, you can go in and adjust what is the rate that is required in order for the storm alert to trigger. The default for me is four hectopascal uh, changes either up or down per a three hour period. You'll notice this HPA, that's going to follow whatever value you've got set for your barometer units. In my case, I've got hectopascals. If you've got inches of mercury or millimeters of mercury, you would see that value here. I've done a video in the past that walks you through changing the rate on your barometric pressure. But anyway, if you wanted to change that, you can press the GPS button and you can go in and choose a different value. So that's one way to get to our storm alert and turn it on. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to my main watch face. The other way is by default. Again, you've got hotkey options. Assuming you didn't adjust this, if you press the bottom right button, which is your set button, it will take you to some watch settings. You've got your alarms under here. You've got your world time, your stopwatch, your timers. If you use the up or down button, one of the options under here is alerts. If you press the GPS button and go into alerts, you'll notice your till sunrise and till sunset alert your storm alert, and your hourly alert. If you go to storm alert, you'll see the exact same thing we saw before. It takes you to the exact same place. It's just a different way of navigating to that. Again, we could turn it off, turn it on. We could go adjust our rate. Pretty simple stuff. Once we're done, we've pressed the back button a couple times. Get you back to your main watch face. That's a couple different ways you can get to the storm alert, turn it on, turn it off, or adjust the rate required for the storm alert's trigger on your Garmin Instinct 2X watch. As always, I hope the video helps.